Death on a foreign battlefield might be how many lives of terror end. It can begin here at home and in the suburbs of Sydney. A Seven News investigation has uncovered a video which makes very clear the intent is to brainwash children and teach them to hate Australia. Watch as four Australian children aged 6 to 13 call for an end to our way of life. These are disturbing and shocking images and they do raise concerns about the welfare of the four young boys who are identified in them. A group calling itself the Muslim Youth Project runs regular events for young children. In this one held late last year, the boys rally under the banner Soldiers of Khilafa, the six-year-old proclaiming You're never too young to be a soldier of Khilafa. and promise to die fighting to end democracy in Australia replacing it with a caliphate ruled by Islamic Sharia law. They also call for American President Barack Obama to go to hell, for Syrian President Bashar al-Assad to be beheaded and for an end to Western ideals. I think it's ugly, I think it's sickening and I think it's absolutely disturbing. It's, it's one thing for these peddlers of vicious hate to do that themselves. Uh, which is appalling enough, but to recruit children into such a sickening display, I think appalls all Australians uh, of all religions rightly. The man leading the chant is Bilal Murhi, a senior figure in the radical group Hizbut Tahrir. Here he is recently in Indonesia delivering a sermon to 200,000. Yes, my brothers, we will change the world to suit Islam. The Muslims living in Australia are also engaging in this struggle. This video is just the beginning. Their Facebook page proclaims democracy stands for death and slavery and they urge Muslims to avoid non-believers at Christmas and Easter. It's prompted the Department of Family and Children's Services to take action. I've instructed my Department of Family and Community Services to work very closely with the police to get to the bottom of the facts. A key concern is these boys being radicalised to carry out violent attacks just like the 17-year-old student Abdullah Elmir, the new poster boy for ISIS in Iraq. Well, ultimately you get the situation where you have young people cross the line and carry out violent activities, as has happened in, in Ottawa, as happened in Melbourne with the attack on the two police officers, as happened with Drummer Rigby in, in the United Kingdom. The Muslim Youth Project is planning another event this weekend. Brian Seymour, 7 News.